guys, welcome back to another Golf Holics vlog. Claire and I are taking over the channel today. We got Mike behind the camera, so thank you to Coach for helping out with the vlog today. Um, we're really excited for today. We're gonna be doing a three, um, three hole course vlog. Yep. We're gonna talk about course management <laughs> with you guys. We're gonna talk through our shots, what we're thinking, why we're thinking those things, why we choose the shots that we shoot, choose, and we're gonna help you lower your scores with what we're doing today. So <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a great day. We got good weather here and um, stick around for a really good tutorial. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please leave us a thumbs up, tap the subscribe button and the bell notification and that way you get notified when we post and leave us a comment below about what else you'd like to see from us in the future. All right, so this is hole one at the Crosby. It's a par five up the hill. It's about 500 yards. Um, as you can see, there's bunkers on the left and the right. And we'll kind of walk you through um, our tee shot here. Okay, so I have my first tee shot here. I'm gonna kind of break you down what I kind of think throughout this shot. Um, so as you can see, there's bunkers on my right and my left, and the fairway does slope a little bit from right to left. So naturally, obviously, I do wanna aim a little bit more towards the right side of the fairway, obviously being cautious of the bunker on my right. So if you are um, at a caliber where you can kind of shape your shot, either a cut might be good here, or if you play a draw, I would just definitely leave it on the inside of that bunker line and you should be in good shape. So my plan is to take it at those three bunkers there on the left and play a cut. Um, and I know for sure it's gonna be safe in the fairway. Cuts are fine. Obviously they don't go as far, but on a par five, that I can't reach, it's not a big deal to me. Another thing that I like to do, knowing that I'm gonna play a cut on a shot, is I tee it up on the right side of the tee box. That helps a lot, because you get aimed left, and then you know that you have a little bit of room right to fade it. Um, and likewise, if you enjoy playing a draw, or you're going to play a draw on a specific hole, tee it up on the left side of the tee box. We don't have tee markers here, so we're imagining. Perfect, little cut off the center. Beautifully executed. And we'll take it. That's what happens when you talk through your shots. You like mentally prepare yourself to do it, so. Alrighty, so like I said, long par five here, can't reach. I'm 280 out, I'm gonna hit this thing 200 up the hill. That's gonna leave me 80 yards, which is my favorite yardage. It's just a full wedge for me. So really when you're out there, calculate those yardages, figure out your you know, full wedge or your full pitching wedge that you feel really confident in and um, strategically lay up. So a rule of thumb for you guys at home, if you have a double digit handicap, lay up 100% of the time. Do not ever go for it if there's any risk involved. If you're under you know, a double digit handicap, then you can kind of weigh out those pros and cons and you can weigh out whether it's a shot you like and whatnot. But yeah, double digits, just lay up. Just play the safe shot and your scores are gonna plummet. Shot anyways. <laughs> Oh, she pured it. Dead center with a little baby draw. That'll run up there, nice and safe. Okay, so I have about 250 left um, with my shot here. There is a bunker on the right-hand side. And what's really important here is that you just absolutely minimize any damage when you are on the hole. So I'm gonna aim left with my three wood and just run it up the left side. Looks good, right up the left side. So I did perfect math, I executed it perfectly as per usual, but <laughs> totally kidding. I have 80 yards in, so it's my perfect number. So I'm taking that full wedge that I have. I wanna talk about this lie that I have. So your lie is a big part of your course management strategy. These lies out here are a little bit tight. Uh, not the tightest I've ever seen, but there is a way that I tend to play these tight lies. I like to put them in the back of my stance and um, really just kind of hit down on them and that way I won't chunk them. So that's my plan for this guy. When you put it in the back of your stance, it might draw a little more. So I'm gonna aim maybe six to 10 feet right. Okay, she push it to the right, drawing over. Looks good. Should hit that hill and feet towards the pin. Okay, so I found myself in the left rough here, which is okay. I was aiming towards the left side of the fairway, pulled it a little bit, but um, luckily we're safe. So my next shot, I have a wedge in, which is really nice. Um, I wanna talk about ball above the feet. Naturally, the ball is going to draw off of um, your shot with the ball above your feet. You kinda naturally come in a little more inside and we're gonna hit it left. So I'm gonna aim a little bit to the right here and um, the ball should naturally draw. It's 
it's drawn over, but it's just a little right of the pin. Beautiful. Okay. Good shot. There you go. All right, so both Paris and I have hit the green in regulation, and um, we've given ourselves a chance to make birdie worst case par. So this is universal for all putts. Speed is king. You need to hit the putt the proper speed so that you can make the next one. All right, this is hole two. It's a very short par four um, from our tee box here. It's 280 yards. It is playing into the wind though, so we will calculate that for our tee shots. Everything does slope left to right with bunkers guarding the right side. Okay, so I do have my fairy wood on this hole. Just because you are on a par four and on the tee box, you do not have to take your driver. That would not be the correct play for me here. Um, the correct play for me is my fairway wood. I'm gonna lay up to my favorite yardage like Claire did on the first hole. Uh, it's playing about 310 into the wind. I hit this about 220 to 230. So I'm gonna leave myself an 80 yard, 70 yard. I don't know the math. You guys know about it math. But um, I'll leave myself <laughs> a nice little wet shot and um, it'll be a very safe play here. Okay, so the wind is howling on this hole into my face. So what I'm gonna do on this drive is tee a little bit lower. Again, I don't hit it as far as Paris, so driver is a fine play for me. It leaves me that, you know, 60 to 80 yard distance that I'm, I practice a lot, it's my bread and butter. So tee it a little bit lower, just kind of like smooth swing it through there. Ball will fly out lower, lower spin, and you won't lose so much distance with the ball ballooning into the wind. So give that a shot. Got 60 yards in, into the wind. There's a bunker guarding the flag with about maybe six to 10 yards uh, between the two. Um, I love this yardage. Um, I'm just gonna put it in the back of my stance with a 58. My tip for you guys here is to get on the range and do like clockwork with your wedge swings and figure out how far you take back a 70 yard, 70 yard wedge, how far you take back a 60 yard wedge, 80 yard, 80 yard wedge, and you're gonna love your wedge yardages. Okay, just a little bit deep, but safe. All right, so I hit my three wedge to the center of the fairway here, which is good. Um, I did hit it a little bit farther than I expected, so I had 54 left, which is fine. Uh, the big thing here, like Claire said, there's not a ton of room to work with um, on the green, but there is a bunker that we have to carry. Um, obviously, I do not want to hit it short into the bunker, so when I'm thinking about my yardage here, I'm definitely thinking more carry yardage more so than just getting it to the hole. Um, and so I'm definitely gonna make sure that I take enough um, with my wedge here and get it over that bunker. So if anything, on this shot, my miss is gonna be um, missing long rather than short. Okay, a little long, but good shot. Okay, so I am going to putt this one. Shout out to Steig, my high school golf coach. It is his uh, his main tip for all of his players. You gotta putt if you can when you're off the green. So when I putt from off the green, I just look at the hole and I just kind of putt to it. It's all feel there. It's just to the hole and you just trust your feel. So obviously I had um, a little bit of a putt there, but I put it in the back of the green kind of like planned. But the important thing about that was that we took the bunker out of play. We eliminated the big number and I got out of there with a par and it's not going to hurt. And we move on to the next hole. We have a 385 yard par four up the hill, bunkers on the right and then one through the fairway. All right. So bunkers are actually really great aiming points if you can't reach them. So for me, I cannot reach that bunker through the fairway, so that's gonna be a really good visual for me to keep an eye on in my peripheral and really commit to in my swing. I know I can carry the bunkers on the right, so that's really not of concern to me either. So my target is gonna be the left side of the bunker through the fairway with a little bit of fade.
Okay, so the raw number that I have here is 130 yards. It's gonna play 140 up this hill. Again, um, course management is all about identifying your big miss that's gonna shoot your score up um, and planning a way to avoid it. So short is the big miss, short and right. We're looking long and left, so we're clubbing up a little bit and we're aiming left and making sure it does not tail off to the right at all. Hit this good, up the left side. Nice. It's gonna be a good shot. Good spot here in the middle of the fairway. I have 113 up the hill. Um, I'm definitely gonna take enough club here, like Claire said, the danger here is short and right. Like Claire, the smart play, like she said, is long and left. Um, naturally what I do when I have tucked pins like this, it's on the right, I just go for the center of the green, I play the safe shot, and if it wants to, you know, feed towards the hole and you know get myself something short for birdie then that's good too but I'm gonna go for the center of the green here and play the safe shot oh this looks really good right what she meant to do middle of the green left part of the pin very safe and, and you have uh, a for birdie <laughs> tip of the cap <laughs> um, but yeah that went pretty much exactly how I planned it's left of the pin and it fortunately, it went to the right and it was good. Liking these videos go ahead and leave us a thumbs up subscribe um, and then tap that notification bell so that you can find out when every single every single time <laughs> we post yeah exactly I think we should not okay also three woods off a tight lie are a little bit scary sometimes but um, I feel confident in my swing so you gotta never mind cut that out okay <laughs> that'll run up there nice and safe all right, this is hole two at the Crosby again. Obviously, cut that out. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs>